Hello guys, this is Rick with Two Brothers Outdoors. I just got done watching one of the most frustrating videos I think I've ever watched. I have a Spencer logging tape. I broke it. Not uncommon. So, I watched the video how to reload this with a refill. And it's supposed to be within a certain amount of time. This is an easy video, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, it was one of the most frustrating videos. The guy lost control of the tape. Let me show you how to replace a refill in this tape very quickly and very easy and save you some frustration. Now, just for uh, show, your new tape is going to come like this. And it's going to have tape around it and, of course, my broken piece like this is going to be in the center of it. So what you have to do is you have to hold this tightly, cut the tape that's on it, have a piece of black tape, matching tape, doesn't matter, but you unroll it just enough to get a tag end with this slot in it, put a piece of tape around it to keep it together. So it ends up like this. You're going to have to have a small flathead screwdriver. And it will help to have a small piece of wood cut in a wedge shape. Now what you're going to do is if your tape broke like mine did, you're going to look for the roller like this. There's a little roller on one of these bars. Hold the blue part towards you. Spool all the old tape out. And when you get it all out, hold it with your fingers so it doesn't spool back in. Take this wedge of wood and wedge it right there in the drum so it doesn't try to spool back in. Now, you're going to notice a silver screw in there that holds this tape. Now these are wound so that the numbers are up. The tape is in so the numbers are up with the blue against your chest. Because I've already put my tape in, I can't show you the silver screw, but once you get it all out, get it wedged, Loosen the silver screw. Don't take it out. Don't drop it on the floor and oh my God, you're done. Just loosen it up. Then this little slotted piece, if you take it and push it forward so that the screw ends up in the wide part and then you just pick up one side, push it over, pick up the other side, comes right out. New one, slide it in on the screw in the position. In other words, it'll be under this roller blue against your chest, slide this in, put the wide part over the screw head, tilt it, put one side under, put the other side under, pull it tight so that the screw ends up in this little slot right there. Just tighten the screw up and that's it. Then take your tape off holding this part in your hand and let it wind back in. It's not rocket science, it's not hard, it's very easy just have to be able to wedge this drum so it doesn't move when you do the screw. Now, if like me, your tape broke about 12 inches up and then went like that, let me show you how to rewind it after you get the new tape in. Okay, you can see my new tape is already in. Numbers are up with the blue facing me. Now, if your tape measure, the spring is unwound, you loosen, just loosen these screws all the way around on the blue side, okay? And then turn the blue piece clockwise, and what it does, it'll wind the tape in. Once the tape reaches the end, turn it a couple more times clockwise to tighten the spring, then tighten all these screws up. Now, be careful because when you loosen these up, if you're not holding this blue thing, this blue cap will spin backwards and then you got more winding to do. So, hold it, loosen all the screws, turn it clockwise until your tape comes in, then go around a couple more times and that'll wind the spring tight enough to pull your tape in. Don't forget to wrap the end of it with some black tape to keep it from breaking. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I hope it wasn't frustrating.